Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my Rainbow Six Siege Operator Attachment Series. Um, in the last video, you've seen the attackers. It's been a few days, and I do apologize for that. I've had some real difficulties recording this video. I think I've got my capture card working now, but I've already tried recording this two different times. One video, I made it like part way through. I was like halfway, and I noticed the recording wasn't even happening. Like, it just stopped. So that was uh, unfortunate. And then the second time, it wouldn't start, so I tried to, like, stream it on the Xbox version of Twitch to, like, a burner account. And it also glitched out, so that was great. I recorded the entire thing for it to not work. Because I did want to get it out the one day, but... And then yesterday, I tried to record it, too, and the capture card wasn't working. And now, finally today, I've got it working. Here we are. Hopefully it stays working, but we'll see, I guess. I just wanted to tell you guys what's been going on, why I've uploaded in a few days now. I was going so good, too, to start the season. I had like three or four straight days with uploading again. So that was very unfortunate. Obviously, that's delayed um, the solo queue series from starting up again this season, but that should be out in the next few days, I promise you. Tonight, I'm getting back into playing. I haven't really played anything in this game since the servers have been terrible. I did play one night. I played like a few quick matches to see... Like the new changes and all that. And some death matches, because I do like death matches in this game. But there's been a few nights where I just literally haven't even loaded up the game or anything. Because I've had so much difficulty making this video. But we are here now, like I said. We're gonna start off on smoke for the defenders. Uh SMG eleven will be first. So going right into it with the more difficult weapon on defense. But I like it. So again, just like last video, if you missed that one, by the way, check that out. It's going to be all my attackers' weapons. Like, I went through every single one on the list and told you my attachments. I showed you my recoil. That's what we're doing here in the shooting range. So I go 20 meters. I just try to shoot anywhere on the target board, really. And I'll give you a few runs, and we can see how it goes. So starting off with the SMG. This gun doesn't have too much recoil, honestly, for me at least. Like, it's better than the SMG-12 or the bearing or whatever. Actually, it's kind of, like, on par with the bearing, I'd say. Yeah, I do like this gun a lot. Especially if you don't, like, spray all of it. Sometimes there are, like, random jumps to the left. That's the only thing I ever have trouble with in recoil in this game. It's just so random, you don't know when it's going to happen. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But either way. You can see there, I've done a lot of bursts. Really good recoil. So on this gun, I use Flash Hider, Vert Grip, and Hollow A. That's what I've always stuck with on the SMGs. Um, like SMG 11, 12, all that. But especially this one, I've always loved to slow it up. Never going to switch, probably. But on the shotgun, I use Reflex A. I don't use lasers on my defensive shotguns, because you're usually going to be holding angles on people. So to me, it's kind of pointless. I, I just don't understand why people would use lasers and give their spot away. I know that the spread's a little bit tighter, but it's not worth it. Trust me. Because then you can hold much better angles. You don't have to, like, stare at a doorway to cover up your laser sight. Um, and then I use the Reflex A because it's the smallest one, but it's still a sight. I do like Irons, too. That would be my second choice, but I like Reflex A a lot. So that's what I'd recommend on all shotguns, pretty much. I use that on all shotguns, too, just to identify it to shotgun really quick if I have it out and I forget. But usually I don't. That's just a tip for newer players, too. I literally only use the hollow C on the shotgun right here for my TikToks. Because by doing that, people will comment like, wow, why are you using the Cybertruck site or whatever? And I will just tell them it's for TikTok. Just to make them comment to help the algorithm more. I'm playing the game the right way. But okay, moving on to the next operator, we have Castle and Pulse for the UMP. I use the 1.5 suppressor vertical grip on these guns. I feel like the vertical grip's fine on defense most of the time because you're, again, going to be holding angles on people. So there's there's not really any point in using the angle grip, right? Like, why are you going to have to use that? You're not ADSing them after you're shooting. So you should just be holding angles on people. There's no recoil on this even with suppressor. So if you're shooting them from behind and you miss your shots, you're in some big trouble because this gun is terrible. Even if you just go for body shots and miss like one or two, you could just be dead. They could turn on you so fast with an attacking weapon against this slow fire rate. But moving on to Doc, 
I use the MP5 over the P90, but I'll show you that one too, just in case. I've never really tried that with the 1.5, but we'll see. But I use the 1.5 extended barrel vertical grip. Again, if extended barrel or suppressor is an option, most of the time I'm going to use it if the recoil is not terrible. Like on this gun, it's so good still with the extended. It's just a dot. You want to use extended barrel too on the weapons that have very low damage and no recoil. So then it gets a little bit better at least. So yeah, no need to go in depth with this one anymore. You can see why I use extended. Um, also, I love this attachment skin. That's besides the point. I'll show you the P90 now. I might be terrible with this. I only use this gun on Solus, not Doc. Okay, it's not too bad, actually. Okay, yeah, this is pretty good. Once I get the hang of it. It usually takes a few tries if I don't use that gun too much. And again, I haven't played in a few days, really, so cut me some slack on my recoil. I promise, usually it'd be even better than this. So that's saying something. Okay, back to the MP5 though. I'll show you the Ruck one too. Same thing, but with the 2.0. Because the scope is crazy good. I'm not sure if I like the scope more or the 1.5. I think it just depends on the gun or the day. Yeah, again, just a dot. Even more of a dot with the scope, honestly. This gun is crazy good. Cap can, I use the hollow A, extended barrel, and vertical grip. But I also like using the, um, where is it? The Reflex C. This is the only gun in the game I have this sight equipped to sometimes. It might be equipped right now to a zombie even. I don't know why I like it, but it just feels good in this one. I can never decide what sight I like better on this gun. Sometimes I even use like the Reflex B or the Red Dot B. I don't know. It's hard to pick. Sometimes the hollow A feels good though. That's why I have it on right now. And again, extended barrel because there's not much recoil, as you can see. And the damage is pretty low, so I might as well just boost that up. When it was the 1.5 on this gun, I like suppressor a lot on it, but extended is good now. Yeah, no recoil on it. Okay, next. Gonna be Tachanka. Same gun, same extended barrel, but with a 2x. As you can see, no recoil again. This is one of the most underrated guns in the game right now. It might be viable just to play Tachanka for this insane gun. And just swing people with it. Especially since you're on defense, 3 armor just isn't as bad. Because you're usually going to be ADS, like I said before. So you'll be the same speed as everybody else. Didn't know that. That's how it works. Everybody's the same speed when you're ADS. I think everybody's a 3 armor or a 2 armor or whatever. I think 3 armor. So yeah, like, this is insane. No more of that, though. I'm just blabbering on. Somebody requested me to do the Jaeger a few days ago. They said they were wanting my Defenders video out, but... I am so sorry I have not gotten that out now, due to the technical errors I've had. I've been trying my best, I promise. But here we go with the Jaeger. I use Flash Hider, Vert, Grip, Hollow A. And I feel like there's no recoil on this thing for me. Pretty basic loadout, honestly. At one point, I will tell you though, I liked using the Red Dot B on this gun. It also feels really good, I'll show you that. Maybe I'll go back to it even. Yeah, like, I feel it has less recoil with a sight, even. I tried this one out. If you're looking for, like, a bonus tip, this sight is really good in this gun. It feels really clean for some reason. I don't know why. I would not recommend putting the angle on it, though. I've seen some people do that. Don't even try. Again, you're going to be ADS holding angles, like, peeking people, so why are you putting an angle on it? It'll just get more jumpy for no reason. Okay, onto Bandit though. Also for pistols, I forgot to mention, I'll use a laser for everybody with muzzle brake, of course. Because you might as well have a laser. If you're using your pistol, they probably know where you are. So what's the point in not? That's, that's how I see it. Just in case you start hip firing or something, it'll be more accurate. I don't use lasers on any other guns though, like the main guns. Okay, on Bandit, a hollow way extended barrel. Um, I like suppressor more. That's what I have on Finry right now. So I will show you that. Suppressor feels really good in this gun, I'll show you. Okay, that was a little jumpy. Again, coming some slack. Give me a couple tries here. 
kind of like that. Again, have, have been a bit since I played, but if it's too jumpy for you, you can always put the flash hider on too. That's not a bad option. Just depends on the day, like I said. Like if I was playing right now, I'd probably put the flash on since it's been a little bit and I've been rustier. But you can just throw the silencer on too. For Frost, I use the 1.5 extended angle grip. And I also use the same shotgun loadout, like I said, Reflex A. I don't know why I have a laser on this one. Take that off. But yeah, 1.5 extended angled. If you want to take the extended barrel off, it's fine. It's a very long one on this gun, I feel like. And the gun's pretty long too, so when you're around a corner, it will stick out a lot. That would be the only reason to take it off for like flash height or whatever, maybe suppressor. But yeah, no recoil on this gun with these attachments even. This gun is just a laser beam. Fire rate's a little low, but damage is high on it. I mean, that's all you need to see right there. Nothing on that gun. For the MPX on Valk, I use the Extended Barrel 2 with a Holloway again. I think I use the same thing on Warden, but with a 1.5. This gun does not have any recoil, really. It is a laser beam, and it's a headshot machine because of the high fire rate, but... You need to hit headshots with it. Otherwise, it will be pretty bad. So one more. There you go for the MPX. Well, for Cav, I'm not even going to show because I don't even use this gun. If you use this gun, I use the Extended Barrel Hollow A, but I'd recommend the shotgun every time. I do not play the other gun really on Cav. I mean, hey. You can try recoil on this too, I guess, right? Try to keep it as steady as possible in the middle. We'll take it. Bonus round for you. Okay, I'll do Echo. Echo, there's not many attachments. Just use the 1.5 and that's pretty much it. And this thing has no recoil. Like, I was over-controlling it there because it's just so little. Look, look at that. It's right in the middle the entire time. And on the bearing, I use the Holloway Flash Hider if you missed the last video. Show you that one, though, in case. Yeah, very good gun. This one's better than the SMG-11, probably. Wow. I am also just warming up right now. I didn't warm up before I played, so... I mean, that's crazy. I shot, like, what, three or four rounds now, and it's barely gone out of the circle. That's insane. Okay, for Mira, this is a little bit jumpy, too, I know. The vector. You start spraying a lot of bullets. You can see that I use Flash, Vert, and Hollow A. That is a common theme. You've probably noticed. Just what I like, though, personally. Okay, that's a little bit jumpy to the left and right, like I said, but not bad. Not terrible. Again, keep in mind, I am 20 meters away. I'm not like 10 or something. So this is pretty far. The average engagement is going to be 9 meters. So this is over double that. Yeah, I do like this gun, though. It's, it goes in like the same pattern. It's not as random, at least. That's nice. Uh, let's try Legion now. I love Legion's gun. The last time I did play, I was doing some death matches with Legion a few days ago. Just trying out the new loadout with the Super Shorty. I never even got to that gun because I was just frying everybody with this one so much. I was actually destroying them with this one. So I'll run the Extended Barrel Hollow Vert Grip again. And I will show you why. Look, look at that. That is, that is crazy recoil control right there. And the attachments help a lot, I'm telling you. This thing has nothing. Always run the extended barrel on this gun. You are throwing if you're not, I promise you. For Ella, this is one of the tougher ones. I do use Compensator because it's mostly going to be left and right recoil. Compared to, like, vertical. So that's why I run that. I don't run Compensators on anything really besides her, I think. And yeah, you can see even the random jump there at the end. I was not ready for that. So I don't recommend spraying more than like half of your round, like maybe 20 bullets, like right there. If you spray over 20 bullets, but just a little bit, you'll be fine. And it's not too bad. Yeah, like that's really good with L's gun. 40 bullets from 20 meters away, I'll take that. So yeah, run Compensator for sure. On Vigil, I use the Suppressor, because if you're playing Vigil, you're probably going for some crazy flanks and roaming. So that's why I run the suppressor. If you start shooting somebody in the back, 
It'll be just a little bit more time you have before they notice you're shooting. And you can get some free kills. And for the SMG-12, I use Hollow A Vertical Grip, and I love the SMG-12. I'll show you that one right after this. There's Vigils, though. Again, I'm just over-controlling it because it's in such a straight pattern there. Take a look at that. That is crazy. I think all of my bullets are going to be hitting the head when I'm shooting at a headshot. Ridiculous. Okay, yeah, I'll use the SMG-12 now. I forgot. Yeah, I do love this gun. After a couple tries, I'm sure it'll be tiny. Yeah, like that one right there was pretty small. It does have some rain of burst still to the left and right, but if you can tap fire especially, it's really good. Like that. Oh yeah, that one was really good right there in the middle. That one's a little bit more jumpy. It is very random on this gun. But if you can get it down, it's super good. So I'll do one more for you down here. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. Because it is 30 bullets you're spraying. Or at least that's what I'm spraying right now. So it's going to look worse by default, but very good. Maestro, I'm using the Holloway Flash Vertical Grip. I don't really play Maestro, to be honest, but we can use him anyway. Let me spray 80 bullets for you. Okay, again, I haven't used Maestro in forever, but I feel like that's pretty good. I over-controlled it by a lot there at the start. Here we go, another 80. Not too bad, I'd say. Let's move on to Alibi. Also on these ops, I use the Bailiff. If the Bailiff's an option, always run it. I do have the laser on that gun, I guess, in case you were wondering. Use Alibi, though. I know, I know hers is more jumpy than it used to be before the nerf. I don't really play Alibi much. Okay, it's not too bad, though. Okay, it's actually really good. Wow. Maybe I'll play some more Alibi in my solo key videos when I start doing those again. I guess we'll see. Oh, Clash. I'm not a fan of her. If you, I put the laser on, by the way, if I'm hip firing quick, because you're playing Clash. They're going to know where you are. So, yeah, that's what I run on this gun. Extended Barrel 2 just for the damage. It's kind of like a Pocket F2. It does 36 damage with 980 fire rate. Let me see what Twitch does. Yeah, Twitch does 41 with the extended, so 5 more damage. And the same fire rate, I believe. Right? Yeah, same fire rate. So it's almost like the F2, but just a little bit less ammo. A little bit more jumpy too, in my opinion. But not very bad. It has like random jumps to the right and left, kind of like Ella, kind of like Mira, the SMG-12, but not terrible. Especially if you don't shoot all your bullets, like I said before. Like even there though, not bad. You should not be spraying all your bullets at the same time usually though. If you just shoot like that, there's no recoil. Yeah, I like this gun a lot. I'm going to start using Cali some of the season in my solo videos too, since somebody told me to. I do want to try that out and see if she's any good. Oh, I love this gun on K, the TCSG. Use a 1.5, use a vert. Don't use suppressor, because it's going to give away your position around corners a lot. It's huge. And there's no point. It's like putting like slippers on an elephant. Why would you do that? It just doesn't make any sense, scientifically. So just use it like this, I promise. And it sounds better. No recoil. I just shot like a dot. Also very fast. I got that trigger finger. Yeah, so that's why I use this gun. I feel like it's so much better than the AUG. The AUG shoots so slow too. 700 fire rate on defense is not good. Damage is decent though. But no 1.5, so I'll use this gun. You also have the 2x. Sometimes I use that. It just depends on the day, like I said before. And I use the revolver to make like head holes and foot holes or whatever if I need to, compared to just running this terrible pistol. I do the same thing on Wamai too with that revolver he has. Also, Mozzie. I use extended barrel vert grip. Again, I use angle grip if I want because still no recoil on this gun, but. I'm not going to be needing the angle grip, like I said, many times in this video. So I might as well just run it like this. And no recoil. I'm overextending it. Or I'm uh, I'm over-controlling it, not extending it. 
That's a rework. Yeah, no recoil on the Roni here. Insane gun. That's the classic go-to Zim gun. But onto the MPX Unworn. I mentioned this earlier, extend the barrel still. But feels even better with the 1.5. That's why everybody runs Warden. No recoil on this gun now. Very, very good. Okay, onto Goyo. I'm using the 1.5 flash for same thing as Mirror, but with the 1.5. Kind of like Warden. Again, a little bit jumpy to the left and right randomly, but not bad at all. You just get it down a little bit more. Like, look at that and the lines. It's so smooth vertically, but so weird horizontally. Also, another tip just to get better at recoil control, just go into the shooting range right here or something. You can even go to uh, this over here. I'll show you. Just begin one of these and turn infinite ammo on, and now you can just keep shooting. Never run an ammo like that. And you can really start practicing your pattern. And you can see like the random jumpiness it does. So now I'll come back over here and show you how it looks. You can just do that for like a minute though until it runs out. And that'll really help your uh, muscle memory with recoil. Big tip. Yeah, a lot better now for me. A lot better. So that's how to get better recoil right there. You just see me do a live action. And it literally took five seconds for me to make that improvement. So just imagine what 60 seconds could do. Your thumbs will start getting sore, especially your right one on the right stick, by just doing that for a minute straight. But I'm telling you, it'll help your muscle memory a lot. So start doing that if you want better recoil. I used to literally do that in like terrorist hunt back in the day on house to practice it. And I had to reload constantly. So now it's like easy mode doing it with infinite ammo. Anyways, though. Enough with that tangent. Just trying to give you as many tips as I can. On the MP5 for OMI, I use the flash hider. Extended some days, but I do like flash. It feels more consistent for me. So I'm a headshot player, so I'll just go for the headshots anyway. So it does feel good. Yeah, no recoil on this gun. That's a uh, common theme for most, but <laughs> still. That's like a eyeball right there I just shot. Okay, on Oryx, I use Holloway Extended, just like Legion, so I don't even have to show you this one. Malusi, I use same thing as Doc and Rook, but I will show you. No 1.5. Sometimes I use Silencer if I'm playing a Rat Spot with Malusi. I say that, but I only really do that on Clubhouse in the Oil Pit. Some late rounds, I'll, like, rotate down there and hold Garage Stairs walk up from there. So they literally can't get into the rafters. And I'll use the suppressor. It gives me just a little bit more time before they realize where I'm shooting them from. That's where you want to take advantage of the suppressor. On a Rooney's gun, I use Vert Grip Muzzle 1.5. I would use Angled like I do on Dokabi, but you're on defense. I've mentioned that so many times now. Drilling into your head. So I just run Vert Grip because I don't see the point Angled. Not as fast as I could have shot there, but really good first few shots were off too because I like hip fired him. There we go. Not bad. So yeah, that's what I recommend on this one. Always use muzzled on the DMR and not like suppressor or something. That does help a lot with those ones because you're always going to be tap firing them. Muzzles help first shot recoil. On Thunderbird I use the spear, Holloway, flash, vert. Just the usual. Same thing on the bearing too. I don't really play Thunderbird at all, though. Oh, wow, this gun's better than I thought it was. I thought they nerfed this a little bit ago. This gun's still crazy with the recoil, at least. Yeah, it's a dot after a few tries. Interesting. I thought this gun was terrible now, but 42 damage with 700 fire rate? It's kind of pretty good. On Thorn, I use Extended Barrel, 1.5 Vert, and the C75 are on the Suppressor, too. But that gun's pretty bad. Yeah, not much recoil on this, even with Extended, so that's why I run it. 
no downside to it. It gets a little random jumpiness, but that's nothing compared to some guns that I use, so it's okay. It's like still a dot for me. So yeah, that's why I use on Thorn. Very good gun. Um, a zombie, I use the same exact thing on Cap Gun right now. I went over that earlier. Solus, I'll run the P90 on that for you now. The hollow. I use hollow A on it. Yeah, and it feels like a dot. Oh, forgot I had so many bullets. I kind of like moved my stick there at the end. I'll show you again. There we go. It's better. Very good. And for the last operator, again, suppressor. I'll show you what a uh, extended barrel looks like too. Sometimes I'll run that. That's why I had it go equipped on the bandit, so why not? Give you a bonus one here. You made it this far in the video. Yeah, I'm a lot better now with the uh, MP7 after a few more runs on other guns. No recoil on this gun. So if you made it this far, you found a hidden gem now with the extended barrel MP7. Fenrir is so good. I'm amazed that Azami, Solus, and Fenrir still haven't been, like, nerfed at all. Especially Solus and Azami. They've been out for a bit now. But I guess we'll wait and see if Ubisoft has anything to say about that. Maybe one day. Anyways, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, the solo queue videos will be back within two to three days, I promise. Uh, if you did enjoy this one, leave a like down there below. Subscribe for more. Comment any questions you had about these. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.